Yo, what's up? I'm Phantom Bruv, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the updated settings that you need to be able to play Icarus. I know that there were a lot of issues when the game first came out. I had a video that I will link down below about my first take on the settings, but I know I don't want to really bore you with everything that I'm saying now, so let's just get straight into it. I thought I'll just quickly come in the game and show you what FPS I'm getting when I'm playing. And as you can see in the top left of my screen, I'm at about 105. It does go up to about 120 at times. But for most of the time, it sits at about 100 FPS. I will link my specs down below. But I just want to get straight into the settings so you all can set your settings and actually get better FPS whilst playing. So let's get straight into it. Pretty much what you want to do is I am playing in DirectX 11, DX11, not DX12. And if you quickly go into your settings i just want to click on gameplay and just make sure you all set these like how i have them so field of view i've got as 110 kill cam on player maker on cluster simulation off all these on 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 multiplayer ghost building off and then on on and then when you go to your display well you see i did just put my frame limit as 140 to see if it does get up there and sometimes it does but i really think that like i should just set that to 120 i'm playing in full screen if you're playing anything other than full screen you will get a loss in fps if if you find this helpful, press the like button and subscribe. My resolution scale is 100 and my motion blur is 0, 0, 0, 0. Quality is epic. I've put the load bias as 5 because it says control the rate at which lodge will be transitions through. Increasing this value may increase performance, but model data will be lower at a closer. I went halfway and I don't see much difference. If you want to get more FPS, it would be worth putting this all the way up. Post processing I've got as epic. Shadows I've got medium. Text is epic. Max shadow cascades. Again, this is a setting that if you put the number down, you'll get an increase in performance. I've put it at two because I wanted my shadows to look a little bit nicer. Again, this is more of a visually pleasing game. It's not like you're playing an FPS. Textures epic. Textures dream and pool size. I've got a 3090. So I've got massive memory on my graphics card. So 12,000. I've set that, but it's all based on your graphics card. So how much memory depends what this should be. So just hover over it and in the top right right behind this webcam you'll see that there's a little description telling you what you should set effects is medium foliage medium shading medium anti-aliasing epic use simple building shadows on disable lightning effects off tessellation on volumetric clouds on disable pair light shadows on shadow filter method is pcf now you only use pcss if you are running dlss now i didn't really see much of an improvement when running dlss with my setup and if you're on amd obviously you can use their fidelity fx settings if you would like to but one of the things is again i didn't see massive improvement and i thought the game looked sharper with dlss off and i'm playing with rtx off as well one of the things that i just wanted to point out is all of the settings i've got here as epic if you're if you haven't got like say if i'm really lucky i've got a 3090 if you haven't got a 3090 or an i9 900k cpu what you can do is you can turn the settings i have here from epic to high and then all the ones that i have on medium to low and if high again doesn't give you enough fps set everything that i've got to epic to medium and then everything that i have set on medium to low the only reason why i've made these medium is because i wanted the game to look a little bit nicer but you can just put shadows as low um effects as low and shading as low and the game will look absolutely fine so these are pretty much all the settings and as you can see the game actually looks absolutely amazing i'm really happy oh my god i did not well think about that i'm actually power farming at the moment so that's one of the things that I'm doing. Um, I will be coming out with some more videos about some of the stuff I've been working on. But those are all of the settings. I really, really hope that they help. Mainly make sure you're playing in DirectX 11. DirectX 11, not 12, because it's a newer technology, so it's not as optimized. And if you follow the settings that I've given you, it will really, really help you. I'd like to know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if this helped you out. Tell me what you changed that gave you an FPS boost. I'd really, really appreciate it. And so would the whole Icarus community. And please make sure to subscribe to get more related content. Check out my socials in the description down below to stay up to date with everything Phantom Bruv related. Until next time, peace.